Hello, let's prove that the limit of the product of two converging sequences is the product of the original limits of those sequences. We take a look at the left side of the definition of convergence and do a bit of rearranging. We use the triangle inequality and factor out bn, those bn's right here, and a, those a's right there. And we get this. Having two summons, we again want each summon to be less than epsilon over 2 so that we can show that our original inequality holds for epsilon. We can do this because they each represent convergent sequences and thus have to be less than any positive epsilon for sum n. To account for the factor of the second summon, we also divide the right side by a. Here, that a. And this basically comes from that a here. If you can't immediately see why we have to do this, don't fret. It shall become clear at the end of the video. The first summit is a bit more troublesome. Because bn is a variable, we have to find some worst case approximation such that our n2 definitely satisfies our demands. Fortunately, every convergent sequence is bounded. We let the bound of bn be capital B. This capital B right here. Realize how we don't know where the sequence comes closest to its bound. We can't just set n to 1 or infinity. Our sequence might be closest to its bound at some arbitrary position. We choose n2 in the same spirit we've chosen n1 before. This time we divide the right side by capital B. Right? And this basically comes from whoops comes from above here but we couldn't just use this b we had to find this worst case approximation we now look at n greater than or equal to both of our n's okay so that both inequalities are satisfied in the worst case right because if this n2 is greater than n1 then we have uh, those inequalities and our n also satisfies the inequality here. Okay, let's now go back to our inequality from before. We plug in our worst case estimation for b, proceed by using the inequalities from above, right? We have this one right, uh, right here. We plug in this from right there. This is that one, and this is that one. But because we've, uh, we also have these factors here, uh, we need to deal with them. Now, what you might realize is those just cancel out. We have epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2, and our theorem is proved.